Hey. There we go. That's better. Don't use adjustable screwdrivers. Use wood chisels for metal work. That's a great idea too. <laughs> All I have is wood chisels, so that's what I'm going to use. best that's going to be. Luckily we're using flux core. Well, it's pretty great. To terrible. Metal. All right. I'll just hot glue that and call it a day. <laughs> you can't see through it. That seems fine to me. That's all you want. That's all you want. I'll just, you know what? I'll take some fiberglass and put it over it. <laughs> that's obviously a legitimate means of fixing or repairing sheet metal. Just take some fiberglass. It'll be fine. There we go. That looks like it. Yeah, I'll cut a little bit more off of here. That's why I lose them. See what we can do with it anyway. It's not rated for 16 gauge, but it seems to do okay. Too far. That's all right. It's easy enough. Oops. Oh, it's almost too pretty to grind, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs>
And it is because I don't want to grind it. <laughs> <laughs> Says the man who just doesn't want to grind it. I hate grinding. That's why none of this is ground. Yeah, but it won't. You won't see it. Nobody will see it. Nope. Quarter round going over it. <laughs> That's a carpet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> quarter round of the automotive world. Yeah. That's fine. It's quarter round. Yep. I'm gonna call that a little slice of perfection. Perfect. Hey. It's not a hole. And weather stripping will go over too. Yes, it will. Huck. Huh. <laughs> Good job, kid. Well, that looks like a thing. Mm -hmm. That'll do. Simple enough. And all straight angle. For the most part. Straight enough. Get you off of there. That's probably not going to work at all. Well, that was anticlimactic there. Huh? Drum <laughs> went that took forever. God, <laughs> terrible. Well, for real though.
guess we'll give it a shot and see what happens. Also not rated for 16 gauge. <laughs> but it's all it's all done it. Not too bad. I need to put a little bit of a bend in it. Shrinking or stretching. It's gotta go in. So I was gonna Stretch it so that it would go like this. Mm, okay. Too much. Too much on it. Can you use the hammer shrinker on it, or? <laughs> yeah, I can use the I can use the other one of those and bring it back. See the tactor, I just welded the C clamp to the car. <laughs> One or the other. <laughs> Maybe both. No, it looks like I welded the C clamp. Mm -hmm. I welded it pretty well too. <laughs> Whoops. That's my bad. <laughs> Perfect-ish enough. <laughs> Man, that looks mighty fine to me, too. Oh, it's fine. It's going to be... That's... For what it and where it is, it's fine. I mean, my gosh, man, that's a that's whole new... That's a whole new world. I'll start singing. <laughs> Maybe break out into Aladdin. <laughs> I'll do it. Trying to fill it up. You're gonna fight me like that? I'm done with you. That's to say, I don't need to have that that spot filled in. There we go. Oh, let that cool off a minute. Strong as it ever was. 
True. Double ugly. <laughs> it's actually probably stronger than it uh, ever was with the it thicker was. metal. Yep. Yeah, that'd be fine. Let me grind it down real quick. Woohoo! There's that. <laughs> looks, like, looks like a door support to me. I believe it. I believe it'll do the trick. I don't think the door's gonna fall off now. Turn this down. Anybody here? I never thought I was kidding about this car being flammable. You're up too far. You gotta come down. I'm not convinced. They're never going to be perfect. They were not perfect new. That's true. I just want them to close easy. <laughs> that's pretty much. That's pretty much all the fabrication that needs done on this for right now. That uh, thing I'll do is finish up some of the welding. I'm going to weld nuts on the back of these bolts so that I can get to them from the outside. I'm going to weld these hinge bolts to the body so I can take the doors off from the outside because I'll never be able to get back in there. And that's that's about it. Now it's time to start working on the Ranger tearing it apart. Yay. Yeah, finally something different. Some destruction instead of having to make all these panels. Oh man, really? Uh, job well done though. The door looks, that's really, look at the fitment at the bottom. That's crazy good. It has never fit that good. No, it that, looked like the driver's side before. Yeah, well, it's that extra support. I mean, it doesn't flex hardly at all now when the door opens. It is solid. Well, all right, onward and upward. That's right. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the garage or the driveway. Well, I think I've just about got everything finished up on the 48 that needs done before I can start 
really cutting into the Ranger and then get the body of this onto the frame there. But I'm just trying to decide if there's anything that I need to do and the quality of everything I've done. So basically what we've gotten done so far is we've redone the floors, we've redone those lower A pillars, and then just a bunch of welding and some fabrication in general. I think I've done a really good job so far on getting all that stuff done well and done safely and done properly. But uh, just so that you know that we don't do this haphazard here and we have an independent third party come and check everything we do for safety and to make sure that it was done properly, I think I'm going to get our resident welding and fabrication gnome Schmebulog to come and take a look at everything I've done and give his opinion on all the work that's happened so far. Alright, well, since everything else is looking pretty good, I guess I'll get you to go ahead and take a look at the welding overall and just the fabrication to make sure everything is safe and it looks good and that we're ready to go ahead and go to the next part and that everything's checked off and ready to go. Oh, good. All right. Well, great. I guess we'll go ahead and go ahead and go to the next part. Well, now, what's wrong, Schmebulock? Everything. He thought that he was. I thought everything was great. Oh man, I really need to learn how to speak welding and fabrication quality control gnome. All right. Well, I guess we're going on to the next part.